So I have this blueprint. Um. This one seemed really fun. To set up for a mall type of thing. It is definitely a little bit of work. Because I would have to automate the production for a few more things. Yeah, quite a few more things actually. Hmm. Yeah, I like this for a mall. I, I don't have a mall set up anywhere. So I think it would be nice for me to like set up something like this because it's gonna allow me to put up a lot of those requester chests and just automatically fill up my backpack. So what I still need to automate here... Um, is... We should have a look. Um, I'm trying to write this down on my second monitor at the same time. We need to automate processors. What's that second thing called at the top? I don't know what that thing is called. Does anybody happen to know? Carbon nanotubes? Okay, fine. I'll open up the thing. I'd never automated that production. I don't even know where it is. Plasma exciter. Plasma exciter. Um, steel I need to set up still, copper bars, glass, gears, gears, uh, gears with wire, I don't know what it's called, processor things, those green things, and that's it, I have the rest, yeah, magnetic coils, Magnetic coils. And then these things. Circuit boards. Okay. I think I'm going to set that up. And I will try and make a bit of a mall. I don't know exactly what the best spot for it is going to be. I would like to start where I began my refining of all of this stuff. But I am going to have to make a trip all the way back home though. We're going to go back to Belgium. I know, Chet. I know. Loco, don't take me to- I know, guys. I know. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to do it, okay? Home is behind. Belgium is ahead. It's a horrible thing. We're gonna still uh, idle in the middle of space as well for a little bit. As you naturally do. You don't have to build them all in the equator grid? No, I know, I know. I can build it a little bit further up north for sure. I just want to make sure that I have enough space to go all the way around, because I do want to automate quite a few of the items, I guess, but... <laughs> Only a couple light years away. I prefer Belgium to be like a couple light years away, if I'm being honest with you, but... In reality, it's only like a, a hundred kilometers, maybe, guys. It's tough. It's tough sometimes. Don't overbuild it. One assembler per item is more than enough. You're probably right. The Belgian Chamber of Commerce is calling me. You think so? What do you think the Chamber of Commerce is called in Belgium? They probably gave it some funny name. Uh, 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 uh. Man. The research is not going very fast. I guess it's because of the yellow research. The yellow research is just tough. I mean, I'm not really... It's not really built for, for scale, I guess. Or I didn't build it for scale is maybe a better way to put it. Um, 
Durability of every unit. We'll get some of these basic upgrades. Anything that requires blue and red. I think I've gotten all of it, actually. Yeah. It's taking a while to get to Belgium. It must be the roads. Hey, hey, very nice, very nice. Man, there's gotta be somebody who's on this stream right now who thinks I absolutely hate Belgium. And I do, of course, naturally. Ugh, of course. Um, New Belgium. That's where we need to go. Oh, skill, skill. Hey, welcome to New Belgium, everybody. Over there in the sky. That's where we want to go. But I need to uh, grab some supplies. I actually ran out of conveyor belts again. Just bring me all the conveyor belts. Minions! Give me those conveyor belts that are in this chest right over here. I could manually go and grab them myself, but I'm creating jobs over here. Creating jobs is an important job, Jet. This is something that is not commonly understood. Some jobs have to be made. You don't pay him, Loco? I pay him in energy. And exposure. Am I not broadcasting them right now? You guys would have never known about these fidget spinners if I didn't stream. Yeah. Time for the minions to unionize. Maybe, maybe. Okay, can I make some more Ferni? I do need more Ferni, absolutely. I could have automated the production for those a long time ago, that would have been smart. Instead of manually making them. That might be smart turn. Or not. Hard to say, really. Maybe not that hard to say, actually. I mean, I have all the things sitting here <laughs> that I need to make these automatically, but it's okay. Uh, I don't think I can destroy the folk in this system. It's just that they're not really a threat, so I'm not really concerned about them until they're like a massive issue. But like in 20 something hours of playing. So I have played now this save for nearly 23 hours. They're at 0.2% threat. Like why would I bother? Maybe I'll regret that at some point in the future. But, I don't see why I would care. Yeah, I think that will start caring when I launch solar sails, but I haven't done that yet, because I don't really need to. They, yeah, I have not started building a, a, a solar sail, or a... Uh, a Dyson Sphere. Hey, there you go. It's the name of the game. I haven't started building that yet. They don't seem to care much about me harvesting gas giants. No. What's going on, Colby? I built a fog farm outpost at the Black Hole and have 18 level 27 bases assaulting a line of turrets, constantly filing a quad stack belt with high level drops. I understood only about half of your sentence. <laughs> Like, I understood every single word of it, but not in that order. I built a fork farm outpost at the black hole and have 18 level 27 bases assaulting a line of turrets. Right, you're farming the fog. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, I have conveyor belts again. Let me have a quick little peek over here at my research. Yeah, yellow is the problem. 
Uh, yellow's coming in reasonably smoothly, but it's not completely shut down anyways. It's still those uh, natural crystal thingamajigs. That's because I'm still low over here on energetic graphite. Actually, that's a new bottleneck. <laughs> What's up, diverted circle? Thank you. Wait, what? There's a load of energetic graphite right over here. Um, I think, since this planet is basically a lost cause at this point, we'll just spaghetti our way into a little bit more. Just do as much as we can with this place and then call it a day. Nah, that's actually not bad, because there's quite a bit of energetic graphite. I would like to reverse you as well. That's what she said. No, chat. There we go. Same for this thing over here. Why do I have two chests full of energetic graphite? Dude, Loco from the past is an idiot. Where is this even going? Okay, it's the wrong way around. Can we all agree that Logo from the past is an idiot? Jeez. It's not the first time I've said that today, either. Okay. We're just doing anything for research now. We just want to science harder. Man, I love science. Oh no. Oh no. my uh, free interpretation back to prime gaming we go the greatest system of them all I always try to leave Belgium whenever possible where's prime gaming there it is Yeah, I know I can use my, my logistics tab for inventory space, but it's okay. Twitch chat is so much better than YouTube chat? Whoa, whoa. I mean, you're definitely right, but... Guys in YouTube chat are talking about you guys in Twitch chat. Yeah. You in particular, Rumpus. They keep going like, oh my god, this Rumpus guy. Amazing. Yada, yada, yada. You know what it's like. Um, I want to go to Prime Gaming number 5. Prime Gaming. That's what they call it in Germany. Tell YouTube chat I said hi. They can read it. They can read it. Okay, we're going to Prime Gaming 5, 52 astronomical units away. That's kind of far. I am currently also at least 52 astronomical units away though from many things in space. So it's all relative really. That's like 104 Chrysler buildings? Yeah, at least. Maybe even more than 104 Chrysler buildings. 
YouTube chat spends their days wishing they could just access Twitch and meet me. Absolutely, Rumpus. Many YouTube viewers have told me that in private. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's unrealistic. What goodies are in this system anyways? Well, first off, it's not my starting system, Dita Hunter. Secondly, there is a O-type star, which supposedly is great. There's basically a little bit of everything here. There's fractal silicon. I haven't really need, like, I don't know. I, I just trying to set all of it up right now. I just needed any system, really. Is that like an O-type blood? Maybe. Do people with like blood type O think they are better than people that have like AB or something? Yeah? Really? There's like a... A superiority type of thing? We are. We are, we are. It's astronomical unit loco? No, 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 it's, it's Australia. One AU is the distance of Earth to the sun, which also happens to be the size of Australia. And Texas is bigger than Australia. So take all of that for what it's worth. It is kind of complex, though, I'm not gonna lie. You thought it was Austria? No, 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 no. Austria is the one with the kangaroos. Common mix-up. Is this the last stream for the week? Uh, no, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Wait, today's Friday, right? Yeah, yeah, no, today's Friday. I, I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm thinking about taking a couple days off around Christmas. But I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, I will be live tomorrow. You don't even know your blood type? Well, you're probably not O negative, Flo. If you were O negative, you would you would tell other people. Echo Steel, like when he's in like the elevator with a stranger, he will somehow, some way, find a way to bring up his blood type. It's really awkward, but he's figured it out. Yeah, he's got to show his. Your whole family is O negative. Jeez. Your blood type is red. I am O negative, worship me. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what Echo Steel does. Why do you think he's a moderator here? Why do you think he became a mod? One of the premier interview questions is blood type. If I ever need a transfusion, my family is not around, I'm fucked. Well, you should probably still uh, go to a hospital for that sort of thing in the first place, man. Even when your family is around, I'm not sure how you're planning on putting the blood from their system into yours. <laughs> I don't know how you could ever do that. You can't just pour it on there, man. You can drink it? No, I don't think that's right. I don't believe that's right. You were thinking about a home blood transfusion. Yeah, no, that's not that's not cool, dude. <laughs> okay, um I got to go do a different thing. Hey logo. Hey, the structure of your face makes me happy. <laughs> Thanks. That's uh, I take that as a compliment. Um, I want to set up. <laughs> I want to set up. 
Steel bars, processors, plasma exciters, gears, magnetic coils, and circuit boards. I also want to set up silicon crystal and diamonds. So we have to make like a couple of varieties here of this shape. Because I don't think there's any more basic stuff, right? I mean, it's not super difficult. It's just going to take a little bit of effort. So I suggest I start, I guess, with... Steel. Steel bars. So this would be iron ore. That has to be brought on over. I could import the plates directly, but I think it's probably a little easier if I don't. Ah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. This is what I wanted to give a try. So I think I want to do smelter into smelter, which again is inefficient, but I don't think it matters that much. So these are one second. How much do you need all of those to turn them into? Yeah, so this is three for three seconds. So it's technically inefficient, but it's fine. There's a little bit of delay because of the grabby grabber. But this will work. I think there's a bit of a delay anyways. That might not actually be. Depends on how the grabby grabber works. So this is actually totally fine then, yeah. So that's 12 over here. That's 12 over there. Um, can I flip this somehow? I guess I can rotate it. Does this work? I think this would work. Do I have enough space up there, though? That's the real question. Oh, I do. Mate, that's lucky. Hey, more construction speed is nice. Calculate it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100% Shadarki. You know I don't mess around when it comes to this sort of stuff. I don't leave anything to luck. Never. Okay. This also just barely works over there. Something's very cursed on this other side. I think, I think this is all backwards. This one is fine. So we want to have an output over here of iron ore. Iron ore. You grab the grabby thing. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just redo it. Because I think something went wrong when I reversed the thing. Okay, that should be good. This entire lane over here. 
So how do you reverse a lane? I don't quite understand. People have said that I can do it? Can I just, like, drag... How do I, like, is that possible? Click on it? Oh, sick, okay. I thought you had to select the entire thing, but apparently not. Huh, neat. Thank you. So just one little note that does the trick, yeah. Okay. The only problem is if I have... multiples of these things in a row. Like, I will not be able to fit three of these... horizontally. I'm assuming this would all work out. Oh my god, dude, that is... <laughs> very thin margins, but it works just barely. Okay, well, it works. That's all that really matters, I guess. But I definitely did get a bit lucky there. Oh, <sighs> okay. Now I have to... Get these things going here? And I will have to place some of them in between, because otherwise it won't work. So that's going to be slightly off-grid, guys. I'm sorry, I want to apologize. But I cannot place it here at the bottom, because it won't work. I know, it's painful. It's very painful. Restart? I should... <laughs> just restart the game? Like, re go back to my save game from the start today, I guess. Mm, I don't love these. <laughs> Just to restart the whole playthrough. <laughs> Everything needs to be changed now. I don't make the rules. It'll have to do. Trying to at least keep it somewhat symmetrical. Ugh. Okay, it's a bit messy, but it'll work. So, that should bring in steel. Pretty decent numbers. Okay. So that is steel bars done. What if you made a blueprint with towers already built? Well, I mean, it still would not fit. I need processors, but that's kind of a tricky one. Yeah, that requires a lot of different things. I guess I can do the same thing for silicon. Silicon crystals, that is. Because that also just requires input of... Yeah. And I can do the same thing as well with diamonds. Although, I don't currently have enough of this. But if I put up these two things... Uh, 
Yeah, I think I can very easily do that. Do this over here with silicon ore. Output crystal silicon. We just have to change the recipes. Again, it might not be perfectly optimized. I don't know what the rates are. So this is two seconds for one ore. I mean, that's once again not a bad ratio, honestly. It's two to one. Yeah, no, it's fine. It'll work. It's not as cursed as I thought it was going to be. What's better? Intel or AMD? Is that what you guys are discussing? Whichever one is better for your price point, guys. Basically, here's what you do, okay? Rather than being loyal to one brand, you just, whenever you have to buy new hardware, you just look at whatever gives you more value for money and then you go with that. I think that's the real programmer move. I've had multiple Intel systems, I've had multiple AMD systems. Oh, you mean what processors am I making? Orange ones. Fight for my tribe. <laughs> All right, sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't realize you were that big of a fan of computer hardware, man. I wish I cared as much about anything. <laughs> okay. Anymore? I think this will do. Local demand. Put into things. Put out the things. Uh, no. Put out the things over here. Put out the things over here, over here, and over here. Cool. I may not have enough electricity for this, guys. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue. Need to go put some dudes in here. I already put dudes in these others. Okay. Yeah, I just need more electricity right now. I don't have enough. Now I understand how dating works. Basically, here's what you do, okay? Rather than being loyal to one brand, you just, whenever you have to buy new hardware, you just look at whatever gives you more value for money and then you go with that. That's, mm, I don't know if that's how dating works. But that is applicable to many other things in life. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so that automates the production for silicon crystals, which I need for stuff. I don't remember exactly what stuff, but stuff indeed. I guess one thing I should automate the production of is solar panels. I need circuit boards for that. Okay, circuit boards are going to be an entirely different automation again. So that's going to require some of my things to come together.
How many of those things do I want to make? Do I want to set that up over here on the bus? Or not the bus. Do I want to like dedicate this much space to like automating the production of circuit boards? I mean, it's fine. Not sure. Go for two to five. I don't know about two to five, to be honest. I mean, it'll just have as many as I get a fort, right? I'll leave some space over here. I'll try and mirror it. I hope this will work. We'll clear the settings. So I need to have a demand. I'll set up a small amount so I'm not accidentally stuck here if I end up not building this correctly. We'll set up a demand for both of them. And we'll do a local supply or a loco supply <laughs> of circuit boards. Okay. Uh, circuit boards are two iron ingots and one copper ingots. In ingot. I wonder if I could just have like an inline over here. And then an outline on the other end. And I could, I guess, even... The situation by having multiple... Yeah, that would work. So I can have a copper inline over here. And then two iron inlines over here. I mean... It's gonna work. Will it be perfect? Nah. Will it be supply or resource efficient? Nah. Oh, no, that's that's not allowed. Everybody knows that that is not okay. So this actually doesn't take nearly as much space as I thought it was going to take. Yeah, this would work too, right? It's a bit wasteful, but... If I can fit this in the middle, I think I'll put it in the middle instead. Yeah, I should be able to fit this in the middle easy. That's me in the middle. Oh, I thought I clicked. What? Am I out? The heck? What's going on here? I thought maybe I just didn't have them anymore, but... Yeah, it does fit. I thought maybe it was going to take up too much space, but... Too close... Oh, it's too close to another logistics thing. Okay. Delete it. That's nice. I'm very happy with how this is going today, guys. It's going a little too smoothly, if I'm being honest with you. Don't worry, I'll probably be shooting myself in the foot before too long. <laughs> the odds of that happening are... Getting bigger. Okay. So I want to do this mostly just to sort out my electricity problem. Because I need these circuit boards in order to make more... Uh, what do you call them? Solar panels. How many of these assembling machines Mark II can you usually support? Off of... I don't know, like a... Uh, Tier 3 belt. 
I guess it depends on what you're producing. I don't really want to do the math. I also don't know how to do the math. Yeah, you can probably do like... Yeah, it depends obviously on the thing you're producing and how many it requires. A lot more variables than the smelting thing. We'll just put about this many. That's the plan. I think it's a good plan. How does this game compare to Oxygen Not Included? Uh, It's not... Like, if you enjoy Oxygen Not Included, you'll probably enjoy this too. It's not quite the same game. Because it's a factory builder. But I think it's probably appealing to the same gamer. Nah, I don't really want to, Arcturus. I don't really want to use other people's blueprints unless... Like, I, I really want to try out the um, the one that I found from Nilaus, but other than that, I don't really... want to go too hard on using blueprints that other people make. I kind of like what I've made here, or what I've been making here. Oh, this is not a blueprint. This is just a ratio measure or thing in magic? Yeah, I don't... I, I don't... No. I don't- I don't want to do calculating, dude. So I now have all of the things I need to automate the production of solar panels. Now, obviously that's not really a... ...factory thing, and I want to set this up on the main bus at some point, but as a temporary measure, I'll set something up over here so I can, at the very least, increase the amount of stuff that I'm getting in. So these will be deleted at some point. As we know, temporary measures in this game are always very temporary and could never be considered permanent. Okay. You've been playing this game for the most of the pandemic? Oh, nice. I, I, I don't know, man. The combat thing is not really that significant, at least in my experience so far. But apparently mine may be slightly bugged or something? I'm not exactly sure. I, I haven't really had too many issues with the enemies. I killed them, and uh, yeah, they've been uh, pretty chill ever since. Now, maybe they'll become a big issue again when... I ultimately... ...start building a sphere? But... For now, it's okay. Why is my silicon not being brought in? Did I not set up the smelting for silicon? I feel like I did, no? Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Really? I did not set up... Huh? I feel like I did, no? I did not. This is what you do for a living, Echo Soldier? LinkedIn job alerts, cyber security... For 125k, dude? Very nice. You truly get to enjoy what you do for a living. Oh, that's a home listing! Wait, what? A home listing? It says LinkedIn job alert, no? 
Oh, Redfin is a real estate company. Ah, damn, you can buy a house in a major American city for 125K? Or is Columbus not a major city? I don't know how this works. I thought it was supposed to be pretty big. In Columbus, maybe. <laughs> I was gonna say, 125K is for a house? Hey, here's my, no, I did make it, what? Oh, guys. I messed up the situation here with... What? Why are you set... I think I messed this up some time ago. And there's like one glass sitting onto the conveyor belt. That's the issue. There's one glass hidden out of sight. I am making high quality silicon. Jeez. Do people not realize that they were gonna have pictures taken of their house? Do you not at least tidy it up a little bit? Ah, oh my god. Not the best. No, not not the not the best place. Dude, I have seen house listings. Yeah, people have have listed this sort of stuff before in in Texas. I don't know, I don't know how it's possible, man, but like... This is kind of nutty, no? That looks like a really big house to me. For 300,000? I guess property is very cheap over in... Or like land in general is very cheap over in... Uh, is that the only photo they have? That's a little fishy. Middle of the fucking nowhere? Yeah, I guess that's true. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you can get a five bedroom home in Texas. Oh, you live in Lubbock, Texas. You can get a two story five bed home for 350,000. I mean, to be fair, it used to be like that over here too, like five years ago. But I'm assuming when you say two-story, five-bedroom, you mean detached home with, like, two-car garage. Like, the, the whole thing, you know? A townhouse, I guess, is what you would call it in the Netherlands. You can maybe, if you get lucky, get, like, a three-bedroom for maybe that. I don't know, probably not anymore. But hey, if you, you know, are already in Texas, it seems like you have some pretty crazy opportunities, though. Which is pretty cool. Two hundred and fifty square foot? That's pretty big, right? You bought like ten acres? Jeez, dude. How much is an acre of land if you're like two hours out of a city in Texas? An acre is kind of a lot, right? That's 4,000 square meters ish. Like, zoned for residential. Like, say you wanna. Yeah, so if you can buy. Like, imagine buying 10 acres, aka, I guess, 40,000 square meters? Like, that's insane, dude. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not how it works. No, 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 hold up. That, no, no, no. We got it. No, I'm not going to do the math. No, 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 that's not how it works. I was going to say, that sounds insane. Oh, I never set up the recipe for it here.
I need to fix the energy. I am trying, I'm trying. That's what I'm working on. I will put up a lot more solar panels. You can buy six acres of land in my town for 350,000. Six acres, two square meters. How much is that in square meters? Twenty-four thousand square meters for 350,000. That's a lot of land, man. That's a lot of land. Yeah, that's bigger than the city center of where I live. <sighs> Those houses are going for insane, insane money, man. Like, I've seen some listings of the city where I live. Like, if you're, like, living, you know... It gets pretty crazy. They're producing very slow, guys. We'll make a bunch as a temporary measure. <laughs> 